Hi, welcome to Gen X Glam here on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping in. I know there's a lot of choices out there. It's great to meet you. Again, thank you and welcome. For those of you that are coming back, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate all the positive comments and the tips and the feedback that you leave in the videos. Know that I do appreciate it. And especially since, you know, I'm new, I'm new to the space, I'm new to YouTube, and to get um, positive reinforcements in the way that I've been getting them through the comments, it's really kind of like motivated me and bolstered my, um, my drive to keep sharing my journey here with you guys on uh, the Gen X Glam station on YouTube. And there's a whole nother Gen X Glam community going on on Discord. So there's invitation links to the Discord server, the Gen X Glam Discord server, and most of my video descriptions and many of the video comments. So let's get into today's video. It's super random. There's a lot of random stuff going on. And let me tell you, I'm pointing up because you know I'm a mom in a basement at my glam station set up in the basement and there's a lot going on up there lots of chairs are scraping the floor I still have the four teenage boys in the house they're getting the dad's making breakfast for them pancakes of some sort I think and bacon they're gonna have an epic breakfast up there but there is a lot of there's a lot of noise from above so I'm just I'm just putting that out there that's part of the random vibe of this video if you haven't noticed I'm wearing an ugly Christmas sweater that's kind of random it's April if you're watching this real time but it's been snowing where I am for the past I don't know two to three days there's snow on the ground so I thought this is my last chance to wear my ugly Christmas sweater. I'm wearing it out today. I'm getting ready. I've gotten ready to go get my nails done. And it's not like, um, yeah, it's not like I have like this huge collection of ugly Christmas sweaters. In fact, I picked this one up recently last weekend at the warehouse pop-up sale where they were selling shoes clothing for ten dollars so this was ten dollars cost me ten dollars a lot of material whenever i get something like this for ten bucks or five bucks something with a lot of material i just feel like i've gotten the best deal ever to get like a, a full-on sweater for five bucks which i have found over the years i'm sure you have too brand new not like uh, at a secondhand store it's like so much material for ten bucks i love this thing I did a video with the makeup that I got at that pop-up warehouse sale. So if you didn't see that video, you can go check it out. Um, it was a really fun time. The whole family went, half the family biked, and um, my older son and I drove. And after the pop-up sale, we drove around to like three different shoppers marts just to see what was out there. He's collecting um, cologne samples and I'm always looking like to make sure I'm not missing out on any bonus redemption or shoppers hasn't pulled out some epic gift with purchase, which they do sometimes. So um, yeah, that was just a really fun day. So that's, that's the story behind the sweater. Another thing I'm going to do in this video that's very random, I'm going to tell you what's in my shower. I thought, hey, People do videos saying like, what's in your bag? I thought it might be fitting here on Gen X Glam since I'm often talking about rotating through stuff in the face sort of cleansing and exfoliating um, piece of the Gen X Glam station that we have going on. I'm always talking about, oh, I'm rotating through Fenty. I'm rotating through Charlotte Tilbury. I'm rotating through Biore. These are all brands that uh, Elf that I keep in my shower. So I brought out my shower stuff. I'm gonna show it to you. It goes along with the random theme. And I'm gonna just quickly tell you what I did to my face. So like I said, I did do the Laneige sleeping mask last night. I washed it off. I came to my glam station. I used my Fenty hydrating toner. I just felt like let's just keep building on the hydration that I got from that mask overnight. I love this stuff for that very purpose toner hydrator in one. It looks like it's almost gone, but fear not, my friends. I have a backup. <laughs> I have a backup. So as soon as I get through this, I'm I'm going into my backup. This is, it's, what is this step? Like, if it's not quite a holy grail, it's nearly a holy grail. This is nearly a holy grail product for me. And I rotate through my toners. So, again, like, it just makes it last that much longer. I went in and I used an essence from Guerlain. I don't see it in front of me right now, but it was one of the um, gift with purchases that I got when I bought the, um, 
the under eye cream from Guerlain when I bought this 20 milliliter of their Orchid Imperial under eye cream, which I did use today, but I used one of my samples because I'm trying to get through my samples before I bust into the new product. I use my Charlotte Tilbury um, serum on my face. I use my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. Can't find it in front of me right now, but you know what that is. I use my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer sort of after the, um, after that magic cream went down, I did some spot concealing with this is Clarence Instant Concealer. It's in shade 01, just a tiny, tiny little dot on the back of my hand. You know, this gives like really good, um, really good coverage. A dab will literally do you. Went underneath my eyes, nor I departed from what I usually use. And there's not a ton of this left, but I actually have a backup of this too. This is the NARS in the shade Night Swan, light reflecting eye brightener under eye cream corrector. I usually use that underneath my eyes, but I like to rotate in um, my Huda Beauty. This is this is new. I've used it before in other videos. I really like it as an under eye corrector. I also like to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Varnish under there. And now in my collection, this is the only thing I own from House Labs. And by the way, I am a huge Lady Gaga fan. She can really, really, really sing. As they say in that industry, like she has pipes. She has serious, serious, serious pipes. Her and Christine Aguilera, man, they are the, they're the real deal. They're bona fide. They get the like, <laughs> they get the stamp of pipe approval. Anyway, this is the only thing I own from House Lab. I've been keeping my eye on it for a while. I used, I got 20% off. I, I went to Sephora yesterday in person and did my round one of shopping the Sephora Spring Sale, Early Access with Rouge. They, I've seen so many people talk about this, um, this brand in general and how skin carry <laughs> their products feel like I, I'm not going to buy the foundation because I'm super happy with my makeup forever. I'm super happy with this one. I just, it's out of my, it's out within my reach because I used it yesterday. This is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Essence with all those fun little capsules in there. And then of course I have my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. So um, I'm not gonna buy the House Lab foundation, but I, I wanted this concealer. I bought it in the shade Four Neutral. I think I did a good job, a good job with it. I'll swatch it for you. It has a, the applicator is in the shape of a spade and it's spongy and it it goes on at first when I put it on I was like well this feels like I don't like this though I don't like how hard that is to get back in there I'm afraid I'm gonna snap that tip man if I snap the tip I'm gonna be so sad anyway when I first watched it it went on it went on it felt like a little bit thick but then as I started to blend it out it is so creamy it is really, really, it feels pretty luxe, yeah, I have to say. I'm super happy with it. So that's going on. I took my lip bar, four quad, went around my cheeks, bronze, did some contouring, did some contouring on my lids with this. I used my, um, speaking of Guerlain, and I don't know, what am I doing with this stuff? <laughs> Where is it going? I used, oh my goodness, excuse me, frog in my throat frog in my throat. I use my Guerlain blush. Now I've noticed that my Sephora has actually a tiny, tiny, tiny space carved out for Guerlain. There was nothing there that I wanted. I've already got their lip oil. The Guerlain lip oil is also what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, I've noticed that there's a little bit of Guerlain that I didn't, I wasn't tempted, but if they had more stuff, <laughs> and I could get 20% off it. I've already got the lip oil, so I didn't need that. I already have the blush, so I didn't need that. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to buy into their concealer, their foundation, um, or any of the other skincare products at this time. They have really nice bronzer, but I'm not going to buy that because my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just came in the mail last week. I really like it. It's in the shade light. Pulled the trigger on that. It's kind of a splurge. I love it. Um, 
yeah and what else what else oh I this was just within my reach but you know I really do like this mascara it I didn't choose it it came in the Lancome post holiday bundle but I think probably one of the reasons I really like it is because it has that comb comb applicator and I feel like I can really just get to like each little lash with this comb applicator as opposed to the you know the more classic um applicator that you find in most mascaras and I went on my brows I filled the very front of my brows and I'm gonna touch them up I haven't set them yet with my lip bar pencil this is in like this shade medium brown I don't do much at all back here with my brows I, I just let that like how it falls you know naturally shaped but I do like to fill in I do like to fill in just the front just the front. I think I feel like that's all I need. I'll set it. What's I have? Oh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. Love the spoolie. No frills. Just glides on so nice. It doesn't pill. My eyebrows don't feel like they're glued to my face. And I don't need much. Did I mention that my nail salon is inclusive and not exclusive? You can roll in there wearing whatever you want. Everybody always has their hair up. But I have no, despite, you know, nobody taking a lot of effort to do their hair or dress up to go to this, this, this salon, people do make an effort to put a little bit of a face on. So that's, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> that's all that I've done here. I've made a little bit of an effort. I didn't really even spend that much time on it. Just banged it out. Now, here we go. Why am I doing this? I don't know, but I'm going to tell you what's in my shower. We're going to, oh, let me quickly set this. I am trying to get through the Milani Make It Last original. I have made this last. This is one of the first setting sprays that I bought, 16 hour wear. Let's use it now. I have, I mean, I feel like I'm never gonna get through this. I keep, I'm keeping it within my line of sight, not far from my reach at, in the immediate grab area at my glam station so that I can uh, use that up. All right, so let's start with the shampoo. This is like just a recommendation that the person that does my hair gave me the last time I went in for a, like a big um, highlight. And so it's been lasting me a while, but I am surprised. Like I almost need to repurchase this. It hasn't been more than four months. Well, maybe it has. October, November, December, January, February, March. Has it been six months? No, I went in November. In the fall, I go and I do what I call the fall color look. I get I get a highlight, I get a low light, and I get like a like an amber, not amber, a copper, a copper color. Those three different highlights going on. And then over the course of the year, I just go in and get my roots touched up. Although before I leave, um, before I leave for summer vacation, I'll probably go do um, another, I'll do another highlight application. I don't even know if that's like going way off. Like you needed to know all that, but that falls in my random theme anyway. So I think it was more like November. So this probably five months, the shampoos about to there. And when I bought this and I got it because it was like 30% off, it's just, I don't even know this brand. I've never heard of it before. Design me. I love it. It's volumizing. I, I need some volume. Um, I probably got about that much left. I'm going next week to get my roots touched up. So I'll probably buy another one. This is the conditioner and this one's right about there. So I don't need to get another um, conditioner. I hope it's on sale. I hope it's on sale. So that is the shampoo. I always have one of these $2 Dollarama brand Lori um, super soft washcloths in my shower. If you live in Canada and you have a Dollarama and your Dollarama has this brand Lori and you can pick yourself up one of these washcloths for $2, it's going to be the best $2 you've ever spent. I swear to God, they wash so well. I haven't thrown one out yet from wear and tear, although I do like rotate through them because I, does it, I'm really, I wouldn't say I'm OCD about keeping my brushes and things like washcloths, you know, pretty well rotated and clean. Like I don't let brushes sit for very long before I wash them. Maybe I'll do two to three, two days, two days maximum with the same washcloth. Then it goes in the laundry bin and I pull out a, a fresh one. It's just me. I, there's nothing I like more than getting like a brand one, brand new one of these in my rotation in the, um, 
in the shower. All right, I use um, Skin Timid for my shaving cream. It is something that my younger brother turned me on to like 15 years ago, and it's pretty much the only, uh, yeah, at least 15 years ago. This is what I use. This is my brand for um, shaving gel foam. Of course, I have razor in there. Of course, we all do. <sighs> Women. Or I'm assuming you do. Maybe you keep it somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes you keep these things in the shower and they, you know, they start to rust and stuff. So maybe not. I shouldn't have said. I'm sure everybody does because that was making a presumption. Whereas probably some of you do not keep your razors in the shower. And that wouldn't be a bad idea to keep them out of the shower to avoid the rust factor. Anyway, these are my makeup um, balmy remover products. Like step one for me. We've seen this one before. I talked about it. It's P. Louise Skin Pineapple Jelly Makeup Remover. And then I always have an e.l.f. Holy Hydration Line Makeup Balm Remover in my shower. Always, always, always. This is my Charlotte Tilbury, what I have going on in there right now. Talked about her, um, her Goddess Cleansing Ritual. This is step one. This removes the impurities, the makeups, get your cleanse in. And this is, this is step two, more of like a more like an exfoliator really gets into those pores and pulls it all out pulls all that gunkiness out and then I have the magic hydration revival cleanser which is sort of an all-in-one removes all of the all the gunk leaves you like hydrated and glowing so that's what's going on and there I have my Saint Ives pink lemon and mandarin orange body scrub I have this Avita cherry almond this smells so good i got it at cosmetics company 70 percent off it's a hand and body wash and i wish i would have bought more of it i really truly do did i tell you the color that i'm getting for my nails and maybe the thumbnail of this video will give you a hint i'm going for an eclipse color because an eclipse is coming to our region it's the first one since 1979 we've got the glasses so we won't go blind if we look at it kids have the day off school it's a professional development day it's a huge deal in my region of the world that this eclipse is coming um and so i'm gonna get an eclipse theme nail polish I don't know. I'm going to bring in the picture that you see in this thumbnail with sort of the the black, the orange, burnt orange and yellow and just see what we can do. This is a Biore Rose Quartz and Charcoal Exfoliating Cleanser. I really like this brand. This is my Aveeno Foaming Cleansing Wash. I like to keep a foaming wash in my shower and if it's if it's I rotate through Aveeno and the other brand I rotate through is Life brand. Um, this is my Fenty collection. This is the Total Cleanser. It is a creamy, kind of creamy cleanser. It takes off makeup. It's, it's a full on, you know, get rid of your makeup and wash. Although I never rely on just a cleanser to take off my makeup, even though I know that you can, I always use a melting balm first, step one. And then I'll go in with sort of a creamy cleanser or I'll go in with the foam wash and then I'll go in with an exfoliant a couple of times a week. And then I go in with like a clarifying light final cleanse, something like this. I love this from e.l.f. This is their super clarifying. Um, it's got niacinamide. I have tons of these in this size and I have a large one that I got for $3.99 at, um, at TJ Maxx. Love it. And, um, I think, oh, one more thing. Yes, one more thing. Where did you go? There's not much left of this. Oh, in my hands. I'm sorry. In my hands. Yes, three more things. This is, um, this is Cherry Dub. This is a face scrub by Fenty, and this is a body scrub by Fenty. Cherry Cherry. I bought them in the last Sephora sale. It was a bundle. I did not see these bundled when I went to Shoppers, or not when I went to Shoppers Mart. Listen, I go to Shoppers Mart these days a lot more than I go to Sephora. It is actually um, not part of my shopping routine to go to Sephora to plus up my makeup collection. Um, usually I go online if I want to get something specific from Sephora, but I do a lot of my purchasing at Shoppers Drug Mart. Anyway, I was really hoping there would be a cool Fenty face wash skincare bundle in the Sephora Spring Sale, but I didn't see one. So I'm going to have to check online a little bit more closely. I'm going to put all this stuff back. And the last product here, this is the e.l.f. 
Jelly Pop Watermelon Glitter Face Mask. As you can see, it's in a mini size. It's all I have left. I would guess there are three applications left. You put it on, you let it sit for like five, seven minutes, and you rinse it off. It smells, I'm just going to smell it. it. smells so good. I love this. And I don't know if e.l.f. is ever going to drop this again. You know, they their Jelly Pop Primer, they just released it a couple of times in the past year. Put it up there on their website, but um, they didn't do this face mask. So I keep it in there. I have three applications left. I'm saving them for a special occasion, whatever that might be. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. If you're out there at the Sephora Spring Sale, drop a comment. What, what are you getting? In a video later today or tomorrow, I'm not exactly sure. I am going to share with you the um, Sephora Fave bundles that I bought. I bought the um, Summer Showstopper bundle and I bought their skincare bundle. And I have the um, Too Faced bronzing stick coming in the mail next week. It'll arrive on, I don't know, it's going to arrive next week. <laughs> it doesn't make any um, sense to be like, oh, it's coming tomorrow. It's coming Tuesday. It's coming Wednesday. It's coming Friday. I have no idea when you're watching this. That's why I always say wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are well. I appreciate you tuning in. Something's coming up in some future videos in the very near future. In whatever order you're watching this, I'm going to be going through my haul as it happens um, in the Sephora spring sale. And um, thank you again for, for tuning in. Sorry for all of the um, the background noise. It's just um, it's just a busy day. Any any household that's got uh, four teenagers, boys or girls going on in it, it's going to be busy. It's going to be loud. But that just means that we're all L-I-V-I-N. And that's a good thing. I'll see you in the next video.